what's good everybody welcome back to another video today i will be telling you guys the five easiest skateboarding tricks all right before we get on to the video then i just i need my laces snapped yesterday while i was skating relace them but that'll probably take too long so i'm gonna try and do a magic trick all righty that was pretty pretty clean you know got the laces on less than a second you know. number one for me is fakey shove it and the reason why i chose a fakey shove it was because you already have the momentum since you already have the momentum then it goes back and since your feet are already trying to go back because you're facing the opposite way then it's easier trick number two is a no comply 180 for me the foot positioning is my foot is in front of the bolts is in front of the like the here's the first line of bolts then my foot is on top of that and then my other foot is in ollie position maybe a little bit back and then you just want to practice this motion you just want to you just want to go like that you want to get this you want to get this scoop down and then you can start going like putting doing it and then putting your foot on and then you can start riding and doing it trick number three is a shove it and it's basically the same thing as a fakie shove it only you're going the other way and a tip that i have if you're gonna do when you're doing the shove it is while you're doing the shove it then um jump forward so pop and jump forward trick number four is an ollie and the reason why I think that an ollie is one of the um, most beginner tricks and one of the easiest tricks is because it's the basis to every trick. And it's basically, it's being a beginner is super hard because when skaters are frustrated when they're trying to do a trick, then they go back to tricks that they know. But since beginners, they don't know any tricks, then it's super hard to learn new tricks. And the fifth and final easiest trick is the front side 180. And I think that the front side 180 is one of the easiest tricks because it goes right along with the no comply 180. It's basically the same thing as the no comply 180, only you need to pop and keep both feet on the board. And how I learned how to do it is I kind of when I was going, then I would go like this, and then when I would turn around, then I would kind of like throw my arms like that. And that's kind of an over-exaggerated motion, but that's how I learned it. I learned it by doing an over-exaggeration, so then at least I would learn how to do it, and then I could just, you know, just get used to doing it more calm. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Corey Anderson for subscribing and yam tv for subscribing and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one